In this video, we're going to look at drawing 3D shapes using isometric paper. So here's the 3D shape, and we have a cuboid with the dimensions 4 cm, 6 cm, and 2 cm. This is isometric paper. Sometimes isometric paper has dots, sometimes it has triangles. It doesn't matter which one you get, we're going to use the dots. The important thing is that we have this the correct way up. So this is the correct way up. So let's go ahead and draw this 3D shape. I can start where I want. What I'm going to do is start now with this four centimeter line just here. So what I'm going to do is four centimeter line and I'm going to show that by four dots. So I'm coming in one, two, three, and then I'm going to have four. So that now gives me the four centimeter side. Try and be as accurate as possible. On the computer, it's not always easy to do this, but if you've got a good pencil and ruler, it should work out quite nice. At this stage, I'm going to do the six centimeter side. So I need to count six, there's two, there's four, there's six. So make sure that it's right in the middle, like so, and then we can get that nice and accurate. I'm now going to draw the vertical. The vertical will be two centimeters, and that will be just there. I'm now going to draw two parallel lines to that of two centimeters, one will be just here and the other will be just here. So on my isometric paper, I'm going to take those, find that point just there and then this side, I'm going to have this one just here. So that's what we have. Again, that's slightly off and we can move that into place and there we go, that's what it's looking like. So if I wanted to make this really, really accurate, that's what we have. At this stage, it's my choice entirely. I'm just going to start connecting these up. So I'm going to connect this one like so. And we know that that's the four centimeter line. So we'll go across like so. I'm now going to do this one just here. And we know that this line will be parallel to this one. So make sure now it's parallel. That's what we end up with. I'm now going to do this one just here. And that will be parallel to this one. So we need a length of four, which takes me to there. And then finally, I'm going to do the final one, which is a six centimetre line, which is going to be parallel to these two. And that comes across like so, and we can just connect it up. So that's what I have. At this stage, what I'm going to do is just put the dimensions on. So we're going to have now the dimensions. This is going to be for four centimetres. So we can write this on four centimetres we have six centimeters and we have two centimeters. If I wanted, I could turn this into an open top box. That certainly wouldn't be a replica of what we've been asked to do, but it's interesting nonetheless. All I'm gonna do is drop a perpendicular down here and that's gonna be a dotted line. Often we show the insides with dotted lines. Then I'm going to have a dotted line around the back and then a dotted line down like so. So that's what we end up with. So that is my accurate drawing. What I'm just gonna do now is take away the isometric paper. Clearly we wouldn't be able to do that in an exam, but I think this is gonna look quite nice if we do that. So there now is my accurate sketch or accurate drawing of the cuboid. And we've just gone ahead and done that. So you can see this one isn't very accurate, but this one is pretty good. Okay, let's try another shape. So this is a triangular prism four centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters, and a slant height of five. I'm going to start now with these two perpendicular lines. So they're perpendicular at right angles, and we can go ahead and do it. Don't worry if it looks slightly different on here. All we're doing is an accurate diagram. So what I'm going to do is have now a four centimeter vertical. So I'm going to represent that now with four of these. So four little lines, between five dots. So let's make that look nice and accurate, there we go. So that's that one done, let's put that one on. So I've done this one. I'm now going to do the three centimeter one down like so. So I can represent that now and we will come from this dot just here and that is going to give me three. So we've done that. I'm now going to do this one. This is going to be three and I can show that like so by coming across and that gives me now a length of three. At this stage, I've got a couple of different choices. I could do the diagonals or I could do this top one here, say diagonals, the slants, 
I can do this one. And that's going to be now three, and that will be parallel to the line that I just drew. So that looks something like that. So these lines are parallel. If I now go ahead and put these slants on, we're gonna have one slant just here, and the other slant will be parallel, and that will be like so. So my first slant is coming from here to here, so let's put that on. And the other one is from here to here, and we can put that on. I'm now going to fill out these dotted lines. With the dotted lines, it's quite hard to see on here because of the faintness. This one needs to be four centimeters, so we represent that with four. This one at the back is going to be three, and that will now be parallel to this line. And then finally, we have the one just here, which is gonna give us the three, and that will be something like so. So just putting that on, and that will be parallel to this one. So let's label this up. We can label this up, and I'm going to put on here that this is going to be three centimeters. This one is going to be three centimeters. This one is going to be four centimeters, and the slant height is going to be five centimeters. Again, if we take the isometric paper away, we can see that that gives us a pretty good sketch. I mean, you can argue that one of these could be slightly better, like so, but overall, that's pretty good. So that gives us now a drawing of this right here. Let's try one more. Uh, so this time we've got a set of steps. So this is multi-stepped. What I'm going to do is draw, draw these two first. If we look here, we've got a five centimeter line, this one is going to be three, one across, one across, one across, as we can see from here. And this one, if we look at the height of this one, we're going up one, we're going up one, we're going up one. So that two will be three. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw this line like so. So that is going to be a three centimeter line. We can see that now from the dimensions. And let's go ahead now and do that. So if I do that one, what we're going to have is the following. So if I put this on, we're going to have one, two, three. So let's just move that down and we'll put that into place. We'll put it just here. Let's go for it just there. This one just here, that is also going to be three centimeters. So if we do that one, let's put that one on. That one's gonna come out this way. So let's put that on there. And that gives me three. I'm now going to do this one just here. That is five in length and we can come across like so. So one, two, three, four, five, and it'll look something like that. At this stage, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to build these steps up. I'm gonna go up one, across one. So if I go up one, and then I go across one, I'm going to go up one, and I'm going to go across one. So let's just put that on. As you can see, this is never massively accurate because of a computer, but with a, a nice, as I say, with a nice pencil and ruler, it will look really good. So let's go now across one. So let's do that and then move up one and then we'll move across one. So that's what we get, it'll be something like that. So over here, I can do exactly the same. I can go up one, I can go across one and I'm gonna redo that one. Let's redo that one, that isn't massively accurate. Let's do that, we'll go there. Then we'll come up, we will move that one into place Let's just move that one, there we go, that's a bit better. And then we'll do another one. So these are my steps, and I'm keeping parallel to the side over here. And then finally, we're gonna have one more step. We go up and we go across. At this stage, I'm just gonna connect all of these parallel lines with this one right here. So just connecting them all up. We need one there. We need one there. We need the next one just here. So it's just a case of drawing across like so. And we need one just here. And then finally now we need one just here. So let's do that. I'm going to now put on these ones right here. So these are the broken ones. We're going to drop the broken one down here. And remember this needs to be of height three. We're then gonna go across the back like so. And then we're gonna come down here like so. So that's what I end up having. I can put the dimensions on if I like. So let's put those on. So this is going to be for five centimeters. This is going to be one centimeter. 
fat is going to be one centimeter fat is going to be one centimeter this one one centimeter this one one centimeter and finally this one one centimeter so we've gone ahead and done that and if i just now pull this downwards we can see that that is a pretty good sketch of what we wanted to see so we've turned now the three D shape on here into another accurate 3D shape on the isometric paper.